Finally, an electric car with a much better parking feature than a Tesla. And I know, I know you're really, really proud of your Tesla because it can probably, you know, self-park and parallel park and when a parking or whatever. It's it can do a lot of stuff, but it does so horizontally, and that's not cool anymore. This is very 2018. This is cool. I'm talking about the vertical parking feature from a brand new company called Nobby, and this is a Nobby 100 that just went on pre-sale. Um, and it comes to us from Estonia. To my American viewers, Estonia is a country. Uh, in Europe, one of the former Soviet uh, republics. Uh, I am one from one of the uh, uh, former Soviet republics uh, called Russia. Um, I, but, but now that will conclude our uh, geography lesson here. Uh, there are quite a few interesting press photos and specs. This is not even the coolest feature of this car. So let's talk about this obvious Tesla killer right now. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button that's also parallel parked right below this video. That way you won't miss anything moving forward. So let's talk about this cool car. Um, it actually was in the works for a, about a year or two. Uh, there were some reports on Jalopnik and a few other media about this car. Uh, but now it is actually gone on kind of a pre-sale. And uh, that's right. This is uh, the coolest feature that you that you see. Uh, this car is par parked vertically. Now, I understand this is designed to save space. If you live in San Francisco, New York, or any other large city where parking is not only hard to find, but also extremely expensive, you probably found yourself climbing walls, you know, your own trying to find a spot, but now your car can do this for you. That's pretty cool. But <laughs> think about what's going to happen <laughs> with the stuff inside of your car. Like, think about it right now. What's inside of your car uh, that's right now, as it's parked probably in the regular parking spot, that's going to mess it up when you do that? Maybe like an unfinished cup of coffee or a purse that you forgot there. Like, put in the comment section, wh wh what is the item in your car right now that if I was to par vertically park it, is going to make the biggest mess? Great idea, but I'm not really sure it was going to work. Though, if you have a pet, a dog or cat or pet snake, whatever. Now, that probably won't be that big of a deal uh, as long as you have it in the dog mode. Uh, but everything else, I have a feeling is gonna, gonna make a bit of a mess. Now, let's talk about some interesting specs. This is uh, the look of the car. Uh, not the latest, you know, designs. As a matter of fact, this kind of looks like uh, if you put a, a Model 3 through the uh, Face app, it, it, you know, it, it ages like this, but at the same time, I understand they go for the retro look, and I think a lot of, especially baby boomers, will, will love this car. It's a three-wheel car, as you, if you haven't noticed, and it's really light. It's like 600 kilograms, which is about 300, 1,300 pounds. Um, you can probably have a couple of people lift it up and move to a parking spot, so another great parking feature, if you will. But it uh, uh, it has a, a two versions of the battery, uh, 21 kilowatt hour and 25 kilowatt hour battery, and that translates to 130 and 160 miles. Not really that big of a difference, but uh, if you add, there's an add-on battery on top of that, and that gets it to about 190 miles, and that's pretty cool. Just like I said, they've launched an uh, Indiegogo campaign, and you can contribute. And uh, uh, and 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 the first 10, I believe, they're selling it for a very affordable price of $29,000. But after that. The price will go up. Uh, different uh, different elements uh, will be added, and it can be up to fifty three thousand uh, uh, American dollars before the incentives. Uh, uh, this is the way it performs on uh, in the snow. So I guess they've already done the cold testing for the car. Um, it, you know, it, it's definitely uh, something very different, but think about it. In the smaller cities, uh, and especially in kind of, I don't know why there's a motorcycle there, by the way, and now it's gone. Um, but I also, I think they have a drone. That's right, they do have a drone. Uh, so I think, in the, you know, in the cities where the space is, uh, you know, is tough to find, um, and, you know, the the, the range is, is decent for a smaller city, that's not a bad deal at all. Uh, and, uh, I, I, you know, let me, let me know in the comment section, would you buy this car? By the way, the price is ridiculous, right? $29,000. Yes, it's 
you know, kind of almost what, uh, what Model uh, 3 is, but if it's an electric car, you're going to get incentive. So the price actually uh, is not that bad. That's right. It also has, has lights. Um, this is what a booty looks like. Uh, here's another shot from the other angle. Um, just overall, it's like it's a completely different retro kind of look. Uh, I, I love it. Absolutely love it. Now, there's also a dashboard. Okay. All right, I'm sure uh, <laughs> I'm sure the uh, the flat screens are going to be added later in 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 production. Um, but uh, it 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 but uh, all of this, it, including the vertical parking feature, is not the coolest feature about this car. As a matter of fact, if this becomes possible with this car, I really wish many other manufacturers will create this feature. Now, before I tell you what it is, a quick reminder that uh, this video and this channel is sponsored by Byton. Check out their uh, uh, all-electric SUV that cannot vertically park, but can park horizontally nevertheless, starting at only $45,000 in the US, in Europe by the end of the next year. And there's a link in this uh, in the description of this video. Reserve yours today. It costs $0 and about half a minute of your time. So have a good time there. Um, now, let's talk about the coolest feature about this car. This car has interchangeable battery, which you can switch out and add. And now Rivian and a few other companies have tried to do that, Neo as well. Um, but also motors, uh, many other parts of the car, including the panels, which are recyclable. Let me just unpack that, right? Because um, now, you know, with Tesla, as you know, they update their cars a lot. Uh, every few weeks, actually, it looks like, uh, which a lot of people think it's cool, but at the same time, you know, a lot of it is not upgradable. Uh, and uh, what's upgradable is over the updates, which this car is actually going to have. I have no idea how it's going to do it because judging by the, you know, judging by the panel uh, there, the dashboard, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a little, you know, squirrel riding inside instead of the motor. But but apparently they'll have that high tech feature, but. You know, every time they come up with a better motor, uh, they come up with uh, with a better battery, or you just simply want to upgrade your battery, you can do so, and it's going to be all modular. I love that. But also the panels. You know how people like spend thousands of dollars to wrap their cars? Well, these panels, you can actually take it off if you decide if you want your car to be, I don't know, I like the red, but let's say black color, um, and you can just change it in those panels that you, you know, I mean, I'm sure you can sell it on eBay, but they are recyclable. So that is awesome. And I love, I would love for other companies try to do that, especially startup companies like Byton, the sponsor of this channel, um, because they can, they can, they can still figure it out because they're in early stages of innovation. So I love that. Now let's talk about some press pictures that they have. It appeared like there's, there's some of them are a trip. So this looks like a, 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 a Florida edition or global warming edition of this car. I've never seen a press picture with a car that's halfway drowned. Um, here's a, a college road trip reunion uh, a, edition. And by the way, if you think these three guys cannot fit all at once, you are wrong. And by the way, every time I am jammed in a car with a bunch of other dudes, I prefer to wear a tie and sunshades as well. Kudos. They are looking good. Uh, these are the uh, founders of the company. There's also what appears to be some sort of a warship or BDSM edition. I'm not really sure why the hands need to be tied back up. Listen, people, you, you, you do you. Uh, and by the way, here's what he is actually making out with. Um, which I would love to know the story about this. By the way, tell me what what do you think the story might be? I I, I have a feeling there's there's stuff going on. I like the way uh, her or his hair is a uh, 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 blowing in the wind essentially, but probably kind of looks weird when it's just standing still. Anyway, kind of a Rolls Royce ish type of a thing. I love that. There's a jewel edition as well. Um, if you're old enough to understand that reference, put it in the description of this video. Yay or nay? Uh, and uh, I, I just, I mean, I have not seen so many interesting ways how to do this. By the way, this is actually pretty useful. I remember when I bought my last few cars, even before I was buying a Tesla, one of the things that I would not buy a car if it didn't recline the seat all the way back because I do like napping in my car a lot of times. You know, I, I work long hours, I don't sleep much, so this is pretty cool. You remember the, uh, you know, how many people sleep in their Teslas uh, and they have special beds, uh, Dreamcase and many others. This is really cool. This is pretty simple, and and uh, I I love this feature as well. So I really really hope that this makes it to market. 
I can't see it on I can't wait to see it on the streets. I'm sure it's going to be perfect for Europe, but I I can see it here in like San Francisco or New York. It's definitely a head turner as well. And let me know in the comment section, would you buy one? Uh quick shout out to one of my newer Patreons, uh, Felipe Celestin, who is participating in our new uh, Fit a YouTuber program and of course your contribution will go to this YouTuber's uh, food shelter and video equipment. Uh um Handsome, handsome man. Uh, appreciate that. Uh, and uh, of course, if you want to participate in our Feed YouTuber program, go to patreon.com slash electric. Just $5 a month will save this YouTuber's professional life. And, you know, if, if you if you don't really want him to, you know, eat and, 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 and have shelter, that's fine. Uh, there is something uh, for free you can still get from him, and it is uh, signing up with his VIP list where uh, you get a bonus story every weekend from a, a writer called AJ, our awesome writer who will, who writes these stories for e4electric.com. But this is an, a, a bonus story that we're not featuring on the website or on the channel. So check that out. It's absolutely free. That's the second thing in, um, in our description that's free besides the Biden reservation. All right. I'm looking forward to all of the comments. Other than that, see you next time. And remember to stay charged.